we go again. Another, is it real or is it fake? Look at this. PRS. Did PRS copy off of Hagstrom and make the Phantomen or Phantomen? However you say that Swedish word means the phantom. Stick around and check this thing out. It's really cool. Um, very well built. Looks like a custom build. I'll take it outside and we'll take a look at it. But anyway, let's go. Their guitar player, Ghoul, or the Ghoul, uh, plays a model like this. Of course, this part down. The rest of it's Hagstrom. But this one, strangely enough, has a PRS style neck on it. Anyway, found it out in the wild today. So, uh, the wild meaning pawn shops, antique stores, guitar shops, uh, garage sales. Just, just anywhere I, I look for guitars, sometimes you find something really cool. And it, it's, it, it was very well built. Uh, it is a bolt-on neck, kind of a custom type build, but it's really cool. It was set up nicely. Somebody really uh, put some work into this. It's got some kind of serial number on it, but it's cool to find one of these out in the wild. This video is sponsored by Ledbetter's Guitar Garage in Hackett, Arkansas, around the Fort Smith area. Link is in the description. If you need anything done to your guitar, amplifier, PAs, he works on just about everything. If you need a setup, string change, uh, fret levels, you got some buzzing frets you need to get taken care of, uh, pickup changes, upgrades, downgrades. He does just about anything you can possibly do to a guitar and does it very well. He is very reasonable on the prices he charges and if you mention Guitar Hustler, he's going to knock 15% off of the labor uh, on the first thing he works on, on the first instrument that you give him, amplifier you give him, whatever he normally charges, it's gonna chop 15% off. If you mention Guitar Hustler, uh, send a message to him through Facebook. Took me a while when I saw this to kind of figure out what was going on here. Somebody put a Paul Reed Smith decal on it, didn't do too bad of a job. That's actually upside down, but uh, that looks like, if you look real close, looks like it might be a sticker of some sort on that truss rod. As you can see the line there, you can, signature's a little messed up. I just noticed it has acoustic strings on it, but they're super, super light. It's almost like nines. This is like a, that's like a 38 or 40 gauge must be super light acoustic strings, but that's kind of cool. And then the body, as you can see, there's signs that this was just cut out of a chunk of wood. Did a pretty decent job on it. The, uh, the binding, I think, is some kind of pin striping that's been clear coated over a little bit. But the fit and finish isn't bad. Somebody didn't do a horrible job on this. This is a little close to that pickup, but I think that's still workable. But uh, anyway, this pick guard was painted, looks like. There's signs that it was, it was homemade. It's not perfect, but it's not a bad job. It's actually really good. But you can see, some, you can see that the wood wasn't sealed very well, perfectly. You turn it over. It's got kind of a homemade rear cover there. Some butterfly. Homemade uh, switch cover in the back. Decent tuners. Cheap ones, but 
they're not bad um, the neck was probably ordered that's what I'm guessing of course it's got some handwritten signature I mean a serial number that means something but fit finish and all not too bad not too bad it's got the birds if you look at it in the Sun you can see the little imperfections around that uh, decal still that is just such a cool looking guitar in conclusion I'd like to say that somebody did a really fine job putting this together I mean there's a little you know a little bit of uh, paint flaws in it but for a custom build if you see a custom build out there make sure it was you know done well which this one was the fret ends are finished on it. Uh, a lot of these necks, this is probably a China-made neck. Somebody ordered just a PRS neck, custom built the body for it because you can't find this body by itself. No, but nobody makes them. You can see the some of the uh, sanding marks on it still. And uh, but in conclusion, it, it's a uh, it's a well-made custom build. To look like the Hagstrom Phantoman, or Phantomen, is how you, I think it's actually how you pronounce it. Once again, trying to get that right in my head, I can't seem to remember it. But PRS does not make this yet. If PRS sees, you know, if Hagstrom drops the guy, I could totally see PRS because they'll do that. I mean, they'll they'll take a popular artist, which Ghost is, you know pretty big now they're big enough to where they would do some kind of signature and build this strange shaped guitar which is cool I am a hundred percent behind the design of this I love it actually it's kind of explorer ish and uh, just retro explorer ish kind of with you know it's just it's just cool but uh the more I play it, the more I love it. I will do a sound file on this later in a different video, uh, or I'll do a music video or something with it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you think. I think it's a cool piece. Anyway, y'all be cool.